Добрый день всем, кто... Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Maxim Burdavitsin. I'm an expert in the um, uh, local governance services uh, of the USA-supported program Dobra. And today we're uh, starting our presentation of the manual theory and practice uh, of improvement for the local self-government. And uh, this is actually the um, final step in our five-year work, uh, final output. And uh, today we had uh, invited interesting speakers, and uh, uh, we are going to present this manual to you. Uh, in course of the presentation, we will show the link uh, going to which you will be able to upload this manual. I would like to introduce uh, today's participants. First of all, Mr. Brian Kemp. Uh, the um, uh, leader of the USAID Dobra program, then Mr. Sergei Shashov, Director General of the Directorate of Local Cell Governance uh, from the Ministry of Territories and Communities, then Ms. Kluchnik, uh, USAID Dobra um, consultant, and uh, co author the manual, then Ms. Malin Marina Kulinic, executive uh, expert uh, of, uh, from the Ministry of uh, Culture and Informational Policy of Ukraine, then Mr. Ruslan Shafranomic, representative of Ivanovsk Amalgamated Community from Ternopil region, and uh, Mr. Rabakon, deputy head of the Association of Amalgamated amalgamated uh, communities and the floor now goes to mr brian campbell the floor is yours thank you very much maxim uh good morning everyone thank you for joining us today uh, as you know i'm sure uh the dobre program program is funded by usaid and we've had the overall task of helping uh territorial communities that formed and come out of the decentralization process to meet the challenges that decentralization brings, but also take advantage of the opportunities that it gives them. I think decentralization makes wonderful sense for Ukraine and for a variety of reasons. Philosophically, it supports the idea that people should have the ability to have a more effective voice in the policies and decisions that affect their countries and their communities. Uh, and it's an important element of democracy and local self-government governance at the community level is extremely important. And I think it's where a democratic society, uh, you know, fully begins, if you will, and contributes to the overall democracy of the country. Practically speaking, decentralization makes a lot of sense as well. Uh, Dobre has been working since 2016. It has uh, worked already very closely with 75 communities in seven oblasts. And one thing we have found is that communities throughout Ukraine are very different from each other. They're different in the priorities that they have, the needs they have, and the resources they have. And we think that decentralization recognizes that the people in the best position to decide what to do in their community, what their community needs, are the people who live there. So uh, Dobre has been working with communities, uh, the 75 partner communities that we've been working with now for some time, and also the 25 new uh, communities and three additional oblasts to, among other things, help the uh, local governments uh, identify in a participatory way with their citizens what is of most importance to the citizens in terms of services and then help realize that. Uh, providing services to citizens is an important function of local government and ultimately everything that we're doing, everything that the government is doing is about making the lives of people in Ukraine, making them better. Service delivery is an important component of that. Now, since 2016, Dobre has worked with many communities and has accumulated a lot of experience with the communities in developing different kinds of uh, projects to improve service delivery, whether it's in uh, waste management, uh, 
improving roads, uh, improving the water supply, or other areas that the communities have identified as being most important. So this manual uh, is a way of encapsulating, of capturing that experience so that other communities can take advantage of it. One thing I urge uh, everyone to do is to acquaint themselves with the guidance of the manual because I think it will be very useful for everyone who's concerned with these kinds of issues. And I also encourage the communities to learn and work with each other because they all have experience in one area or another that might prove valuable to another community. And that's all a tremendous resource. So I'm just very pleased that we could have this uh, session today. I wanna thank all the distinguished representatives from the ministries, uh, from the association, from our partner communities who are taking part. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you for your support to Bill Bray. And I hope you'll find that this manual is useful and this session is useful so we can go ahead and continue making these important reforms in Ukraine. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mr. Campbell. I would like to remind uh, to all those who had just joined uh, uh, us online that you may uh, put your comments uh, uh, in chat. Also, you may ask your questions and in Q&A section. Uh, in this uh, video conference, and we will uh, provide you with the answers. Now I'd like to give the floor to Mr. Sergei Sharshov, Director General of the Directorate on Local Self-Governance uh, uh, from the Ministry of uh, Communities and Territories. This uh, ministry had done much uh, on the way, on the path uh, towards uh, the re decentralization reform implementation and uh, um, those successes, which, which we mentioned today, um, we, uh, in a big deal was gained due to the ministry. Thank you for invitation. I'm happy that uh, today we all are presenting this manual, which will be very useful for all the communities. Uh, uh, and I would like to thank to the Dobra program for all that uh, intense cooperation and uh, uh, actually long-term cooperation uh, in the area of uh, decentralization reform implementation. I'm happy that uh, uh, DOBRA program uh, uh, cooperates uh, uh, directly with the local communities. Uh, they do a lot of, so to say, field work and this manual will provide practical assistance uh, to those communities which uh, um, had no experience with the program. And uh, uh, almost 1,500 communities in Ukraine um, which had gained a lot of new responsibilities uh, uh, will uh, probably face a lot of difficulties, uh, having no experience how to um, how to act in new conditions. Nevertheless, uh, all of them have to become successful for the sake of their citizens. Uh, and uh, uh, by the way, the principles uh, upon which the decentralization is based. This is the. Uh, subsidiarity and uh, um, uh, self-governance principles are aimed at uh, uh, provision of high quality services and the creation of uh, um, decent level of life in all the communities. Uh, this is actually the overall objective of the self-government uh, reform. And I believe that to this end, there's a very a manual will provide a lot of help to those communities who strive to deliver good public services to uh, improve the well-being, the uh, life standards in their communities 
and thus they will uh, raise the future ratings in elections for the local self-governments and um, uh, I also uh, believe that uh, uh, the members of local communities would also see how useful and practical this uh, manual is. Uh, 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 I believe that, in general, uh, this uh, manual will allow to improve implementation of this very important decentralization reform, which has such a big impact at the uh, local well-being improvement, at the uh, uh, improvement of uh, life standards at the local level. I am very grateful for this manual uh, related to the delivery of public services. Uh, thank you, Serhi. And now let's uh, continue. I agree with the previous presenters uh, uh, that a huge uh, amount of work was carried out. We had uh, uh, cooperation uh, first with 75 communities, later another uh, tw 25 communities joined this uh, um, team and uh, uh, working on the manual, uh, summarizing our experience, we tried to use plain language to uh, uh, stack with the very concise style. And uh, uh, despite all our efforts to make uh, the um, narration as uh, concentrated as possible, nevertheless, we uh, stuck with two volumes. Uh, the first volume is devoted to the theory of uh, uh, local governance, while the second volume is devoted to the practical issues. And with this, without further ado, I would like to give the floor to uh, Ms. Natalia Klučnik, who will explain in more detail um, what what is in this manual. Thank you, Maxim. Um, I would like to thank uh, for this opportunity to contribute to such an important task. It's a big honor for me to present today this uh, uh, big piece of work, which was uh, carried out by a team of uh, uh, excellent experts uh, under the guidance of the DOBRA program, and uh, actually not only the local communities uh, uh, had been been educated and trained in course of the program. Uh, the experts uh, has, have got uh, precious experience too, and uh, um, this experience is very special, and uh, 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 at some stage we found out that uh, um, uh, we could not but share this experience, and in course of our work, uh, um, at some moments we tried to uh, compress as uh, uh, much uh, experience as possible in a very uh, small um, space. And thank you to uh, the DOBRA program uh, 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 team who uh, guided us at all the stages. The manual has uh, uh, its uh, story uh, of creation uh, at the first uh, stage, 75 communities participated at the next stage, another 25, and actually 128. Uh, um, plans for the local community development were uh, developed and uh, approved. Uh, by the way, all the services which are described in the manual were chosen by the local communities. Uh, and uh, later on, we uh, 
understood that uh, the list of services could be extended uh, because um, uh, we inherited the perception of uh, local uh, self-government services as uh, uh, purely municipal services like utilities and uh, um, uh, public uh, services uh, uh, like documents, administration, etc., while uh, educational, cultural, etc., services remain beyond the attention. And uh, the first book is about the notion of the uh, public services and uh, the perception of them and uh, the plan for public services in a community. Um, uh, and this uh, first book, first volume, consists of uh, three big sections. The area of public service, the notion of uh, public service, and uh, implementation of the public service plan. And uh, it explains how this is all related to the legislative base to the regulatory environment and how this legislation could be properly used. So we started from the notion uh, of the public service, and we had uh, to double check the whole regulatory base, uh, uh, the whole core of uh, uh, legislation to understand what does it mean. And uh, we found out that there are public services, uh, state services, and uh, uh, publicly important services or municipal services. While we do not have such things as municipalities, uh, the word municipality in our uh, um, uh, 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 in our legislation, uh, although at the colloquial level we use this expression municipal services and understand that these are uh, services provided by local government to all members of the community. Um, and uh, actually, this uh, review of the definitions allowed us to understand uh, what we mean under uh, 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 the local or public services. These are services provided to the local community. Lo uh, while local community is a, um, a vital organism and uh, its uh, needs can change. That's why the list of services uh, may also change. Um, the Constitution of Ukraine guarantees uh, access to uh, public services to all the citizens of Ukraine and uh, this uh, uh, directed the use of uh, proper uh, uh, juridical language and uh, uh, the use of civil code in uh, our manual. And uh, uh, in the first volume of uh, uh, our manual, you will find out that municipal services or public services uh, 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 should be funded from some budget, and uh, uh, unless this is uh, the state or national budget, then this uh, should be the local budget which pays for the service. And uh, um, uh, as uh, Serhii and Maxim mentioned, uh, uh, the decentralization reform uh, was aimed uh, and the new quality of local self-governance uh, was the overall objective of decentralization reform. That actually means that they uh, would be able to make decisions about uh, uh, allocation of their available resources uh, uh, 
uh, for the needs of the community members. Um, you may try to uh, uh, find this in the uh, first volume of our um, uh, manual. Uh, more detailed definitions of each uh, uh, section of services like educational, cultural services could be found in a specific laws devoted to those uh, services. That's why we had to to examine these special laws like uh, the construction norms, etc. And uh, uh, our findings are presented in the second volume of the manual. Uh, uh, thus, uh, the first uh, volume will be useful when formulating your local policies, and you may use it. Uh, you, now, on the screen, you see the uh, 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 chapter, the section about uh, 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 offset between the needs of communities and the resources or budgets of the community. Of course, uh, there were always a list of long list of wishes of uh, local self-governments, while uh, uh, this was not uh, uh, related to the available resources. And actually, uh, just uh, uh, making the ends meet for the local community is not a good solution. It's not a good way out for each government. The uh, issue is how to earn money for the community for the development. And uh, in this manual, you may find how to formulate your vision, your goals, your objectives, uh, for the development of local community, for earning money for this development, and how to uh, select uh, among the priorities. For example, if you wish to develop uh, cultural services and uh, why development of uh, cultural services, you may reach uh, good development of tourist services, while tourist services may contribute to the economic development of the community. And uh, um, we have a good example of such uh, developments uh, in some programs. and. Uh, um, uh, 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 this is a good example how you can uh, do much with limited resources instead of big investments into infrastructure, etc. Uh, when uh, shaping your development plans, uh, you have to uh, to stack with a broad inclusivity, that is, involve as many uh, people as possible to the discussion around the services. And we found out that this brought uh, very positive results when many people are united with the um, idea of uh, producing some joint uh, um, uh, result, that is, how to balance uh, the, uh, the needs, uh, the wishes, uh, the vision with the limited resources. Uh, this allows them to own the process and uh, to change their attitudes. Uh, the, uh, Pro, uh, development uh, program uh, should be sustainable uh, uh, and coherent uh, unless the 
all the policies are coherent uh, uh, between themselves and are not coherent with the strategic uh, objectives of the central government, then this uh, uh, local development plan uh, has no perspective. It's actually like a tree of our needs and uh, uh, capacities. So uh, the needs uh, f which should be reflected in the development plan could not be developed without uh, any surveys or questionnaires at the local uh, level. Uh, and uh, then uh, in order to uh, allow broad um, uh, uh, inclusivity, we have to speak with people uh, with plain, with decent, understandable language. And uh, 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 this uh, requires building up good communication. So these main messages, which I have just mentioned, they, uh, uh, they are mentioned as uh, components of the plan. The plan is a universal tool. Uh, uh, and this is not about just those services which you see in the first slides. This is about all the services which are top priorities for the um, community. But the plan should not be used for this uh, 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 emergency solutions. Uh, and. Uh, um, oh, many plans which had been in, uh, introduced at the very first uh, stages later on were reviewed and made more uh, uh, smart and uh, more comprehensive. Uh, uh, I won't describe this in more detail uh, and would not speak much about the plan. It has a lot of specificities and you will see them in the manual. Actually, you can start from the definition of the key service, then establish the working group, then um, uh, assign the responsibilities, uh, uh, launch communication, organize public hearings and discussions. Actually, at all those stages, uh, um, you may face some problems. Uh, quite often, local communities uh, stated that people were very inertial, uh, not very much interested in uh, participation, and uh, we encouraged them to approach to people more proactively, and the result was good. Then about service. Uh, service were carried out also f at the stage of strategic plans formation and with the purposes of the services improvement. Uh, uh, those services which were selected by the communities required the um, understanding of the baseline of the service in the community and as well as understanding whether people truly needed it. And uh, we started with manual service, while later on we launched the automated uh, uh, service uh, uh, application and uh, automated survey application. And in this survey, there is no such question as 
uh, yes or no. There are uh, the questions, uh, what do you know about that? Uh, uh, how much you are satisfied? How much you are dissatisfied? Whether you are interested in involvement into this or that type of activity. And uh, Dobra Social Booth had uh, developed this electronic uh, service system, which could be used for their strategic plan and uh, formation. It is quite uh, um, simple in operation and uh, very user friendly. Uh, uh, you can easily um, produce your own list of questions which you would ask to people and uh, easily use this uh, tool. Um, so the next uh, is uh, uh, the track, uh, what we want to reach, how we would uh, move in that direction and what should be the measurable results. So where we are now, where we would like to be, and uh, uh, how we can reach this, and what should be the stages uh, for reaching that. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, this brings in the working group, etc. So uh, all that um, mm, questions um, are actually uh, stages uh, um, uh, and recommendations, how to gain data, how to establish a working group, how to assign roles, how to um, uh, uh, analyze, how systematize the opinions after public survey, uh, what is SWOT analysis, uh, 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 the service should be quality and uh, uh, accessible, but uh, what, what does it mean, good quality and uh, good accessibility? Sometimes uh, the uh, communities are able to design projects but, but cannot find the development component in those projects. What uh, advantages would uh, this uh, policy bring for the community, etc.? So these are all rather useful recommendations, practical recommendations for the communities. Um, how to develop uh, the plan. The second part uh, are practical, practical uh, services. Uh, uh, some uh, uh, aspects were not chosen by the Dobra program communities, and uh, when we believed that this or that aspect uh, was very useful. We uh, included experience of uh, uh, other communities, not participants of the Dobra program. And uh, um, um, social, medical, educational, including school and uh, uh, preschool services, uh, water supply uh, and water treatment, uh, lightning services, uh, mm, uh, transport infrastructure, maintenance, organization of passenger transportation, uh, solid waste management, organization of cultural services, etc. Mm. This is the list of services which, uh, uh, to which the communities express their interest. And in this manual, you may find description of the service, the mm, meaning of the service, the most common problems experienced, uh, who are service deliverers, who are um, uh, service uh, receivers, uh, who is authorized to deliver the service according to legislation, what are the uh, regulations for the service delivery, and uh, regulation of the service capacity. Uh, 
um, for example, you may um, uh, uh, build up a good road leading to nowhere, or you can build up an excellent facility, but in 10 years there would be nobody to use this facility in that uh, very location. Uh, and uh, in order to uh, uh, to do this uh, in this way, we have to analyze the today's situation, the baseline, and then formulate the strategic goals for each service. This is actually the um, uh, objectives tree or goals tree. Then we may check uh, this uh, against service standards, uh, both in Ukraine and uh, at the European or international level. I will very briefly describe uh, the fact that this manual includes a lot of pictures, graphs, uh, uh, figures, uh, uh, maps, uh, etc. For example, uh, mapping of the healthcare services and uh, elements uh, of the uh, model offered for this uh, territory in the nearest future. Uh, the same is true for the public uh, transport. This is a figure showing how public transport services is shaped. Uh, convenient uh, network, uh, environmentally safe uh, uh, mode, uh, the uh, staff uh, uh, list, etc. The same. Uh, approach is taken for the sports services. Here you can immediately see the examples. This is an example of the road infrastructure. Many communities in Ukraine, and in particular uh, in Dobra program, all the communities mentioned that they had uh, the problems uh, with roads, uh, the roads of uh, local importance today are in difficult condition, in hard condition. That's why many communities choose uh, for, cho chose for that services. Uh, actually, you can find QR codes, then scan them, and immediately go to the service that you need. Uh, also, I would like to uh, thank especially to Maxim Burdovitsin, uh, Alexander Morat, Marazyuk, Shevchenko, Perehova um, for the contribution to this work. And uh, having created this huge document, uh, uh, a, even a bigger team uh, uh, of the Dobre program was involved uh, into uh, uh, reading, editing, advising as to the manual. Uh, and I would like to thank to Manessa Van Jan, who um, shared this methodology with us at the very beginning and uh, um, uh, uh, used it, uh, this methodology in the communities of Ukraine, uh, which resulted in writing of this manual. And uh, I'm uh, with this, I would like to finish, and uh, I'm ready to answer your questions. Thank you, Natalia. As of the moment, we do not have any questions, and you are right that it's better to uh, to read once uh, instead of having heard it a lot of times. Um, we are open to cooperation with many communities, with all communities. There are our contact details, and if you have any 
uh, questions or the requests about improvement of your local services, uh, feel free to contact us. Well, and now I would like to give the floor to Ms. Marina Kulinic, executive uh, of the expert group leader um, in coordination with the regions from the Ministry of Culture and Informational Policy. Due to the Ukrainian Cultural Fund, this methodology was uh, introduced uh, to 28, almost 13 con communities, which were not uh, members of the um, Dobre uh, program, but uh, um, they wanted to improve their cultural services. And due to that, they were able to improve cultural services. Marina? Something is with the mic. Thank you, Natalia, for such a detailed uh, presentation. I am happy to be present here today. I believe that this manual is to become a mm, uh, widely used uh, book in all the local communities because it uh, deals with a, a huge range of uh, possible local services. Uh, and uh, I'm happy that cultural services had become an important part of it, and uh, that Dobra program paid attention at these types of services. This means that, that uh, there is a demand on cultural services, and uh, uh, that culture as an area has been being developed. And uh, uh, actually, culture is uh, that very thing which brings community toge together. We actually, we can be brought together by two things, uh, either common um, tragedy or common joy. And let it be common joy, that is, common cultural events which bring us together. For example, Recently, on Troitsky Fair, we had uh, a bright celebration uh, um, uh, where they presented uh, uh, local uh, poetry and uh, uh, the local amateur singers, uh, dancers, etc. Uh, and uh, that uh, local community, with all its uh, settlements, all the villages and towns, um, showed uh, a high level of uh, um, uh, unity, actually. Uh, 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 this was a happy response to the fears uh, of local population. When they amalgamated uh, some years ago, there were big fears uh, that they would be uh, joined to the city, to the nearest city. Well, now they see themselves as a separate big community. Uh, uh, when I started to work in the Ministry of Culture, uh, we immediately asked the question, what does it mean, a cultural service? And uh, uh, I am very happy that today we are presenting a manual which is uh, mm, uh, very applicable. Quite recently, the president had uh, signed the law which provides a new definition for the cultural service and uh, which would allow uh, more comfortable services, cultural services. And also, uh, this uh, um, law introduces the standards for cultural services and uh, requires comfortable conditions for the uh, cultural service deliverers, for the staff uh, who works for the delivery of cultural services. Our local communities had been being established at the various uh, stages, and now we need to standardize the cultural 
uh, services, but we cannot request from communities to introduce this standardization immediately. This law, number 1432, uh, provides minimal standards and uh, subventions from the national budget. This uh, uh, will be transition period till 2024 for all the communities, which would allow them to satisfy the minimal standards and work for the future for the better level of uh, cultural services. I'm very grateful for this manual. It describes uh, the standards, uh, the uh, regulations. Of course, uh, they require further development, but it's very cool that today those communities uh, which were amalgamated recently, um, they are not uh, familiar with the old uh, standards uh, uh, from 1997, 1994, 1987, uh, and uh, uh, when it comes to the cinemas, to uh, cinema theaters, when it comes to local clubs, when it comes to the local museums, etc. Uh, Natalia mentioned that the manual describes how the cost of the service has to be uh, uh, determined. Uh, this is very much uh, uh, demanded uh, uh, methodology uh, because quite often we are approached by local communities. Back in 2020, we extended the list of paid cultural services that might be delivered by local communities. Uh, this is very good uh, that uh, because local communities now do not need to deal with all that problems. This is just the head of the local uh, club who, who is able to uh, calculate the cost of cultural services based on the Cabinet of Ministers methodology. And I hope that the manual would allow us to develop practical um, practical uh, methodology, practical uh, procedure, how that could be done in local communities. I believe this manual will become very practical uh, for all the communities in Ukraine. I have read the first volume of the manual, and I was uh, very positively impressed uh, with it. Currently, uh, it, it fully coincides with what our ministry is uh, preoccupied now. We are working on the scenario for the cultural development of communities. This actually uh, closely corresponds to your second volume. This only shows that uh, all the experts uh, think alike and that we are ready to produce regulations which coincide with the requirements of local uh, community members. Thank you, Marina. Uh, that work, which is already done by the Ministry of Culture in the area of regulations, is uh, huge. For example, this is uh, true about uh, um, minimal standards. Uh, um, 
minimal standards in uh, um, in the area of cultural services uh, are um, are ahead of uh, many other ministries. Uh, uh, for example, we do not have minimal standards for many other ser services which are under the auspice of other ministries. I understand that each community is unique. They may deviate from the, from the um, uh, standards, uh, but the minimal standard is very important. Dear colleagues, we have received uh, um, some questions. And now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Roslav Shafranovich, head of Ivanovska Territorial Community, and uh, ask him this question from Vera Yanchuk from our chat. Uh, what uh, does it mean? improvement of the water supply and water maintenance uh, uh, service. Uh, as far as I know, your community had chosen the water supply service as uh, one of your top priorities. And actually, this is the trend in many communities. Water supply is among the three top priorities in almost all of them. So what is your vision? What is your answer to this question? Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Uh, so what, what did it mean to improve the water supply service? Uh, uh, in our community, uh, we have this very document, which we call not the service improvement plan, but the service uh, establishment plan. From the very uh, beginning, we realized that uh, 4,000 of people in our five settlements had no centralized water supply or water uh, discharge system. And uh, uh, we f uh, found out that the old Soviet pipes were inappropriate, and we had to start from scratch. Uh, in our uh, development strategy, the water supply service uh, was uh, um, one of the priorities. In our community, we do not have any rivers. Uh, um, and uh, from the very beginning, we started to organize a meeting in each uh, village, uh, in each settlement. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, we found out that people had uh, no perception of the problem. And uh, we are in the area, we are located in the area with the difficult natural conditions, uh, highly uh, influenced by the climate change. And uh, uh, we had, uh, first of all, uh, to convince people uh, working on the service design, we realized that it was extremely difficult service. When you deal with other services, like reconstruction of the roads, etc., you are improving something which exists, while, uh, while uh, with the water supply, we had to start from scratch. Uh, implementing that huge project, we had to dig up some roads which uh, created inconveniences. Uh, and uh, at some stage, people showed doubts that they needed the service. Uh, but nevertheless, in result of that, we have the 
10 wood uh, collectors in some settlements uh, we restored uh, the water wells uh, and uh, started to build up uh, water pipes uh, 25 kilometers uh, and uh, here uh, the Dobra program uh, uh, allocated uh, uh, money for this and uh, uh, today, in each village, we have uh, the water collectors and 50% of uh, the uh, uh, community territory is covered by water pipes uh, network. When we look back at the three years ago, uh, when we started that work, uh, I could hardly believe that this could uh, uh, was uh, able to be implemented and uh, uh, but as Natalia mentioned step by step we uh, reached today's uh, uh, situation and that's true that communication with the uh, uh, community members with the people is uh, of primarily importance. The more you communicate to people your plans, your vision, your um, goals, the less uh, problems uh, you would have in the future. Uh, now, two villages uh, are uh, connected to the water supply. The third village will be connected later. And uh, further on, we would work on the water quality, uh, etc. But uh, um, I now I believe that this will be done gradually. And uh, 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 now, by the way, we have not only the water supply uh, plan, but also the uh, what, uh, but uh, the roads improvement plan and the uh, solid waste uh, management uh, uh, plan. These are actually all very important uh, documents. All these uh, three elements are reflected in our uh, strategy, development strategy, and uh, I believe that we should have the improvement plan for all the services delivered by local community because uh, this improves uh, the uh, uh, the situation in the community. Of course, uh, during pandemic, uh, uh, the communication uh, worsened, of course, because we are a small community. We cannot uh, contact uh, with people offline. Uh, and uh, while this uh, uh, live communication is very important, also, I would like to thank to the Dobra program who uh, uh, trained us how to write our plans pro properly. I would like to thank the Maxim, to Mr. Mikhailo Kozarev, who, and uh, to all the experts who used to work with us and allowed us to carry out this very important work for our community. Thank you, Ruslana. We are also very grateful to you. Ivanovska community is a good example to many communities. We This is a small community, and we all know how it is difficult to finance uh, either water supply or waste management in a small local community. This is actually a combination of the resources of 
local people, local community, our program budget, and the oblast level budget, the regional budget. And uh, I hope that the water supply uh, problem is almost uh, resolved uh, today. Uh, w what is very important about the water supply service? Because this is actually a, um, an important element in of the health care in community, uh, because uh, health care and environment are very directly uh, connected in this uh, context. Now I would like to give the floor to Alexei Rabakun, deputy head of the Amalgamated uh, Territorial Communities Association. Uh, this association uh, represents big number of communities. This is very active member of our program, and perhaps uh, you would ask some questions. Serhii uh, Loboyka, what local services uh, could be digitalized, and who has to pay for this digitalization? Whether local community, uh, national authorities, the Ministry of Digitalization, the Ministry of uh, informational culture, etc. So the, this is, an, as of now, the question to you. If it's not a question to you, then we will re address this issue. Thank you for, for this participation. Uh, uh, in the association, I'm responsible for the platform of uh, uh, human resources, administrative services, and e-governance. Uh, as of now, this had become the regular thing in our association, although at the stage of uh, uh, re-establishing administrative services some years ago, this was a challenge. And uh, While well, now members of our association having found uh, good uh, uh, new approaches and uh, having uh, found uh, uh, good partners uh, uh, among our immediate Western neighbors, uh, uh, learned how to deliver good administrative services, and uh, now uh, we are able to deliver uh, administrative uh, services at a level which is not worse uh, than in Germany. Uh, so we have reached actually good level in digitalization of administrative services and uh, uh, this was confirmed especially during pandemic nevertheless there is always space for uh, perfection for improvement and uh, uh, the requests uh, um, and demands of people tend to change. And uh, uh, what was satisfactory three years ago is uh, seen as uh, less satisfactory today. The manual which uh, we are presenting today was presented in our association some time ago. And uh, 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 as uh, uh, members of the association, we had the chance to discuss it. And uh, it was a general opinion that this manual is a big success. Uh, and it is a big success. Uh, because it is very practical. It 
it is uh, uh, very um, close to the everyday needs of uh, uh, local leaders. Uh, uh, even with water supply, uh, uh, Ruslan presented uh, to us extreme situation where they had no water supply at all. But usually uh, the situation is better, but it is poorly managed. And uh, the same is true uh, about uh, um, um, lightning. Uh, and uh, in these areas, when uh, um, public hearings are being organized, you face the same practical issues. For example, with mate, waste uh, management, uh, we started asking questions, what is uh, typical service for local govern government, uh, uh, um, how the service is perceived by the service deliverers, uh, by the service recipients, and uh, uh, we found out that um, there was a big gap uh, between uh, those two opinions and uh, that we needed uh, uh, more experience. So we had to uh, look for new visions and experience. While now, today, your manual offers a lot of uh, 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 perspectives, a lot of visions, and actually very practical steps to tackle standard problems uh, for each community. You even offer uh, s specific strategies uh, for each uh, uh, particular service. While uh, um, in some communities uh, where they do not have strategies or have uh, old strategies, uh, they had no ideas uh, um, what the real problems were. And now, having tried how to resolve this or that problem in practice, they can found um, better, better vision, they can gain better vision of the service that they need in the local community, and they can review um, the strategic development plans from uh, the very beginning. Sometimes uh, you feel that you need more people, that you need more experienced team to work on the problem. You need better human resources, but a quality of human resources, and uh, you understand that you have to work with those people whom you have. And uh, I like very much your approach when you ask the question, if you want to do something, first think about people who would uh, do this, who, will, who can do this. Um, and unfortunately, we never um, uh, uh, ask these questions. We never tried to compare the uh, quality and the quantity indicators. We never tried to understand what is better to improve uh, the number of uh, positions in the administration or to improve the quality of people. In our association, we have uh, some grant projects uh, 
and uh, the local community leaders underestimate this uh, small pro uh, the small programs that is my message is as follows the proper assessment of uh, uh, capacity is extremely, extremely important. As for our association, we believe that this manual would be very, very useful for the work in your communities. This is a powerful tool, but uh, uh, the use of this tool would exclusively depend on the uh, community leaders. This is a universal tool um, for all sorts of services, either in healthcare or educational services, uh, or you can apply the roads. I think that some indicators which are used in, uh, for example, educational services, in terms of the student success in state examination, etc., uh, uh, says nothing about the quality of education uh, which is delivered in the local community, about the uh, level of happiness, so to say, level of uh, um, satisfaction of that students, etc. So this manual would allow us to uh, use this accumulated experience and practices. Uh, your program covered uh, 10 oblasts uh, in Ukraine and uh, 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 we as association uh, would be happy to introduce this manual in all other regions of Ukraine because this is a good way for us to improve our work. That's why we highly evaluate the level of this manual. We are very grateful to this for this initiative, and uh, we are ready to promote Im implementation and use of this manual. Thank you, Alexei, for your support and for your high appreciation. Uh, our program is uh, temporal, uh, and the uh, Dubra program is approaching to its final stage. While the self-governance initiatives uh, uh, w uh, our methodologies at the local level will promote local development uh, um, for the years ahead. As of now, we do not have uh, uh, further questions. I am very grateful to Mr. Shershov for his uh, comment about digitalization. He mentioned that uh, digitalization is uh, the area of the Ministry of uh, Informatization, and uh, they uh, uh, are qualified to answer such questions. Now I would like to give the floor to the Ministry of Intra Infrastructure to Mr. Andrei Gritsak. Each year we organize a survey asking a question, what are the biggest concern for local residents uh, in uh, communities, and this is now the fifth year in a row when uh, maintenance of roads and uh, pavements uh, um, are the biggest uh, concern for local people. Um, Andri, perhaps you would explain 
to us uh, how this could be resolved. Quite often, local communities do not have enough financial resources to revive uh, the local infrastructure um, uh, because uh, this was this is a huge omission of the previous development stage. As we know now, the infrastructure is among top priorities for the government and the president. Uh, could you comment on that? Thank you for this opportunity. I would very briefly described uh, the situation. Unfortunately, due to technical uh, difficulties, I was unable to uh, hear the presentation. But uh, 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 what I can say about uh, um, uh, infrastructure, since uh, 2018, we have been introducing decentralization infrastructure, that is, we split the Mm, uh, responsibility for the categories of uh, uh, responsibilities between the central and uh, local uh, authorities for the roads. Ukraftador is of today uh, manages international and national highways, while local administrations are responsible for the regional and uh, local roads. As for the uh, municipal roads, uh, they uh, remained under the auspice of local communities as it was in the past. Um, so uh, Ukratador manages 46.6 thousand kilometers of roads. Uh, local roads amount to 122 thousand of kilometers. Uh, in and. Uh, 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 the municipal roads amount to 240,000 kilometers. Uh, from 2019, we have the State Road Fund. This is the uh, permanent source for reconstruction of the roads. Uh, this uh, fund is financed from the excise money which come uh, from uh, customs also uh, highway uh, fare uh, fines paid uh, by uh, drivers and uh, uh, companies uh, and uh, some concession uh, fees, etc. Uh, 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 that uh, amount of money is uh, not insufficient even for the minimal works uh, uh, to maintain the transportation network. Uh, we have a methodology approved jointly with the Ministry of Finance. This is a methodology for the reconstruction and maintenance of roads. This uh, uh, methodology sets minimal basic uh, resources for the maintenance of roads. For Ukraftador, for local self-administrations uh, and, uh, and uh, local governments. Uh, uh, the majority of roads uh, are, uh, were constructed in uh, 1950s, 1960s, and of course the uh, life term um, 
of those roads had already finished and um, uh, we do not have sufficient uh, resources to uh, make a large scale renovation of those roads immediately. That's why the renovation is uh, split into stages. Uh, the cabinet uh, of ministers in March 2018 had approved uh, the program for reconstruction of uh, national highways. Uh, it comprises measures planned uh, till 2022 uh, and uh, uh, sets uh, the list of uh, uh, fi uh, financial contributors uh, to the reconstruction of uh, the national roads. As for the local roads, uh, local administrations uh, were um, assigned with the task to uh, make strategies for the uh, local or regional roads uh, uh, reconstruction. So regional administrations uh, produce uh, such programs and submit them for approval. Quite often we are approached by the local self-governments uh, and appeal about uh, the reconstruction of roads. They are poorly informed about uh, implementation of the regional road construction uh, programs. Uh, regional, uh, local regions, uh, regional administrations, local self-governments, they are authorized to review their own reconstruction programs and local authorities should appeal to them and request from regional administrations proper uh, monitoring of these programs. Now about subventions. Uh, the state road fund uh, provides that 35% of that uh, of its money should be provided to the local level for maintenance of local roads. Uh, in 2018, the total amount of that resources was at the level of 11.5 billion hryvnia. Uh, in 1919, it was. Uh, 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 14 billion hryvnia uh, in 2020, 21 billion hryvnia this year. This amount was cut down because in December, uh, alongside with the national budget uh, approval, some provisions of the budget code were reviewed and uh, the amount of money um, coming to the road uh, a fund from excise uh, um, fees was cut down. And that's why the road uh, fund was uh, uh, cut down too. Uh, and this year, the subventions, uh, total subventions amount will be at the level of 18 billion hryvnia. And, uh, um, Uh, but in previous years, uh, more money was allocated to the road uh, fund, and uh, uh, due to that fact, we would uh, uh, deliver 3.3 .3 additional billion uh, to the subventions to local levels for the road repairs. Now, b about funding sources. I uh, 
described uh, the state road fund as one of the sources for uh, overhauls of roads at the local level, but this is not a, the only source. Local self-governments can uh, finance their own repairs from their local budgets. Besides that, in the past, we did some work, and due to the support in the parliament, we had passed some novelties, and now local self-governments can make external borrowings and local borrowings for the needs of uh, road uh, uh, repairs. And uh, uh, state administrations in the regions uh, 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 local state administrations can uh, uh, re redirect money from uh, national budget subventions to the uh, debt uh, uh, servicing of that uh, external and internal borrowings made by local administrations for the sake of road construction. Uh, 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 quite often we are approached by local self-governments uh, with the, the request of uh, novelties, they ask to deliver money directly to them. But we can not uh, do this because uh, uh, the need is huge and the resources are scarce, and uh, this would uh, mean only the mm, uh, dissolution of resources. Uh, that's why we advise them to uh, think carefully about priorities and we offer methodology for setting these priorities. In brief, that's all that I wanted to share with you, and now I'm ready to, to answer questions. Thank you, Andri. Yeah, as of now, we do not have any questions. We understand that there is overall lack of resources, both at the central and local level. Um, when we work with local communities, uh, quite often they uh, say uh, we lack resources for the uh, repair of our local road. While I, uh, I uh, uh, um, provide the counter example, uh, well, you repair the road, but there is an old water pipe under it, and you have to bring a uh, repair team each week, uh, dig up this new road, and uh, repair that water pipe. That is, uh, um, you have to make very careful decisions when you want to invest millions of hryvnia. Uh, um, we had answered all the questions asked in chat. Uh, dear colleagues, I'm very grateful to all the participants of our today's event. You may upload uh, this manual uh, um, by the um, uh, link uh, below our um, presentation, and we plan to uh, print a small number of these manuals and disseminate these printed copies, hard copies, uh, among uh, the interested parties. We all know that there is a huge amount of problems. I'm very grateful to all those who joined us for discussion. I'm very grateful to all those who work with the communities uh, and uh, who uh, 
who tackle, who try tackle uh, to tackle the problems at the local level. Uh, I believe that eventually everything will be fine and Ukraine will become more successful. Thank you for your contribution.